So in this simple application, we have basically two components. We have the app component and the counter component. And our app component basically has here some start and stop buttons, which we will see in a minute what, we, what they are for. Then we have our app counter component. And what it gets is actually an observable stream here in the form of a behavior subject. And inside that counter component, we then use that change detection strategy on push, which means that we only trigger change detection whenever that reference here changes. But as you might have noted here, this is a stream, so that reference won't ever change, but rather we will make values. And what we did here is basically to use here that mark for check on the change detector ref here instance to manually do a change detection whenever we get some new value here. Now what we want to do here is to improve this a bit further even. So we want to say like when we get here a stream of values, so if I press here at start button, we get a stream of values. And as you can see, change detection kicks in and refreshes this counter variable here. But we don't want to do that every 10 milliseconds as the stream of data comes in, but we rather want to do it only, let's say every uh, one second or whenever we toggle or activate this change detection. And this is actually a very powerful approach which you can do in Angular. So let's see how we can do that. Now, first of all, let's create here a new notifier, which will be the one that toggles our change detector. Let's initialize it to false. And whenever we press that button here, a toggle change detection method here is invoked. And what this does is basically to set this dot change detection enabled equals to not change let's say td enabled and let's create here a local variable which is equal to false initially great and then we broadcast this value through our notifier dot next this dot cd enabled great now we want obviously to pass that notifier inside here. And this has to become a new property here, a new input property of our component. And again, it's an observable of type Boolean as we know. And now here after that subscribe, what we do is by default, we say this is a change attack dot detach. And in this way, we say stop change detection for this subtree of this component. So everything which is included in this counter component, every subcomponent of this counter component, so basically that entire subtree will stop doing change detection. Then obviously we register to our notifier. And we get here a value. And if this is a truthy value, then we basically say this that reattach so we reactivate that change detection else we again say this dot change detection dot detach great so you see how powerful this is so we can manually control whenever the change detection gets activated or deactivated so now let's start here our change detection we say toggle it stops change detection we say start, it kicks in again. Note we are at 700 and something. In the meantime, it goes on. And now we jump in at 1000 and something immediately. So you can see that behind the scenes that the whole incrementing of the counter obviously goes on. So here the counter increases. Values get emitted, but our counter component inside here does not perform any change detection. And therefore, we don't see updated values here at the moment when we deactivate basically the change detection.